Hello YouTube, Arkady Chmakov is here and today I'm gonna show you 10 awesome life hacks from After Effects you didn't know about. You made some text in Photoshop and bring it in After Effects. But once you try to edit that text, you just get an editable layer. Ok, right click on your text layer, select Convert to Editable Text and you're done. It is often a situation when your project grow to very large size and you just can't find any composition inside. Here is a trick that allows you to locate any composition quickly. Click on the free space in the composition window and choose reveal composition in project. Here you are. Let's say you create a 3D composition and then you decide to add another 3D layer to it. All right. You switch it to 3D, try to crank up position and all that stuff. The simplest way to position layer exact where you want is to select it and parent the target layer holding shift key. Your new layer will position immediately where you want, but don't forget to unparent it. You have drawn a shape and then realize you want another point, but when you try to add point, program is starting new path. How to solve that problem? You want to hold Alter key next time you draw shape, and now by clicking on path, new points will add. Preroll in preview will work only on new CC version of After Effects. Click Ctrl plus 3 and select Play around current time. There you can adjust pre-roll and post-roll times. Saving last render settings in Render Queue. You are finishing your great masterpiece and send it to Render Queue. There you see lossless, but you want to render it to Moth No Mat by default. To make it happen, hold Shift key and select any preset you want to be set by default in Render Queue. Next time you send composition to render, program will render to your selected preset. Multiply layer effect control. Let's say we have this animation and I want to add blur effect to that guy. I will precomp it and apply effect. Now I want to apply pretty same effect to that cyclist. I'll go ahead and copy effect with properties holding Ctrl Alter plus C keys and pasting it with Ctrl Alter V. A bunch of expressions created and now when I change blur to say 50, cyclist blur setting are changing as well. Fit composition to artwork. Here in composition window you see pretty small character. To fit composition I will partially marquee desired area, first click in that small button, then from composition window select crop comp to region of interest. And the deal is done. When you try to add composition to media encoder directly you will see something like that. What the heck? Where is my rendering composition? To avoid that problem, just put all your stuff in one folder and put your render composition in the root of your project. You can find it using life hack you saw earlier. Now only your render comp will appear in the media encoder window and that's it. Select any layer. Push F3 button and click on that area holding Shift key. <laughs> Have a nice day.